Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to add foreign key constraint to existing table in SQL Server. Let's open SSMS and take a look. Here, I have a definition for two tables. I'm going to create these tables and then we will talk about adding a foreign key constraint on them. Here, we have a DBO customer table with the customer ID and it is a type integer and primary key. Then we have a first name, last name, and social security, and data type worker used for all of them. Next, uh, we have a DBO orders table and order ID, identity, uh, sorry, integer, and it is identity properties enabled. So one comma one, so starting with the one and incrementing with one. We have order item name, and then we have order item amount. So let's uh, go ahead and create this table. The both tables are created. Let's select the data and we can see that there is no data. Now, if somebody asks you, hey, can you go ahead and create the relationship between two tables, a primary key and foreign key relationship? To create the primary key and foreign key relationship, we need two tables. That's fine, we have them. So we have DBO customer and we have a DBO orders. One of the column has to be primary key, so we have the column uh, customer ID in our one of the table, that's a primary key, and here we need to uh, add that as a foreign key. We don't have a column here that's related to the customer ID. So first of all, if there is a column, then fine. You can go ahead and just run the alter table script and add the foreign key constraint. If you do not have the column in the second table, you need to add that column. In our case, we don't have it, so I'm going to create add that column first, and then we will create the foreign key constraint. So I'm saying alter table DBO customer add customer ID integer. Notice that here I'm keeping the same name what we have here. That's not necessary. So you don't have to have same. You can always say customer underscore ID or any name what you like. But as you are creating a relationship between two tables and the, the good reason you want that you will be using a uh, in the join queries. So you will be selecting the data from uh, two tables. The only reason you are creating this relationship is uh, probably at one point you need to grab the data for both tables so you can use these uh, columns and join on them. If they have different names, uh, what, what is going to happen? You have to keep remembering, uh, okay, which column uh, is a primary key and which column is a foreign key. Maybe if you have the same name, you always assume that, okay, this is this is something like I in the name in standards or as a company or best practices. Okay, we keep the same name. If we have the same name column in two tables, primary key and foreign key, that means there is a relationship between them. And that doesn't really mean like it will be always, but you have if you have created the relationship. So I, I really suggest using the same names. So when you are joining on these columns, uh, by using inner join, outer join, or uh, left join, you remember that, okay, uh, customer ID, okay, let me join with the customer ID as the relationship is there for me. So I'm going to go ahead and leave the customer ID, or, uh, sorry, um, I was in R. So control R, if you will hit control R, so you will see the result set, and if you will hit back control R, this, that will disappear. That's what I, the shortcut key I use when I need to show you something in the query, and then I need to show you the results. So control R, control, control plus R. Okay, now we have uh, the columns here. Next, uh, we need to add the foreign key. So what we need to do, we say alter table, DBO orders, and then say add constraint, constraint name. So give some reasonable name. In my case, I'm saying, FK foreign key customer ID. So you can further if you want to go ahead and say, oh, which source table I'm using. So you can some make something like this. Uh, this is my source table orders, then destination table, and then column. You can also make that way. So once you see that, you will tell right away. Okay, I have a foreign key constraint on my table orders, and this is pointing to destination or using the primary key column from customer, and this is the column name. And then you say foreign key and provide the column name from your uh, table on which you are creating the foreign key. So DBO orders, if it will be, remember we were saying we can could have a DB underscore, uh, sorry, customer underscore ID. If that would be the case, you will be using that column here. So in our case, we are using a customer ID, fine. 
and the references then you use the primary table so the table which has primary key column so here we have um, a DBO customer and the customer ID so you see that here so that's where we are referencing now go ahead and execute completed and let's go to the tables we can see the information here we have customer table on the keys we see that this is a primary key it created if I will go to the orders table and see the columns I will see the customer ID has the foreign key now and if I will go to the keys I will see the name of that that's great now this is one scenario I'm gonna drop the both tables again and this, uh, let me drop the orders table first and then a customer okay now the next scenario is uh, we were creating a, this is a uh, primary key foreign key relationship on only single column so there could be scenarios when you have a primary key uh, already created on multiple columns and you have to create uh, the foreign key and you will be using uh, those multiple columns so first of all use database whatever the database you want to use to create these tables so here see I'm uh, I'm creating DBO customer this time I'm creating the primary key constraint on two columns first name and SSN so think you have these tables already created okay next uh, you need you already have uh, the orders table but there is no foreign key constraint you have order ID order item name order item amount you have first name and you have SSN so I want to show you a few things here you created these two tables your manager asked you or team lead hey we need to create the foreign key constraint between DBO customer and DBO orders and now next question is okay fine I know the primary key columns are first name and SSN so I can use this primary key in my foreign key relationship second which columns I need to use from the foreign key table so here we have first name we have SSN notice here we have F name and here we have first name so I was that's what I was saying doesn't matter if they are different you can use them in a relationship and then SSN is the same SSN so fine now next is we need to use the alter statement we say alter table DBO orders on which you are going to create the, the foreign key constraint and then you say add constraint provide the name of the constraint so foreign key constraint uh, follow some naming conventions in my case I always start FK then put the underscore then remember I was saying like use your source table use your destination table use the columns they give you enough information if you will just take a look on that oh okay this is a foreign foreign key constraint which tables are involved or which columns are involved and then you have to say foreign key provide the columns from your table on which you are creating the foreign key so remember we have first name and SSN so we have first name and SSN and then say references and provide the primary key table so we have a DBO customer that's where we have created the primary key and use the columns in the primary key so we have F name and SSN one thing is to notice here we are putting the uh, the first name and SSN in the same order if you will uh, put them in a different order and try to create the constraint it will fail it will uh, let me do that real quick for you let's say if I will just even move cut just the first name if I will try to SSN and paste it here and try to create this constraint it's going to fail it's in column DBU customer dot F name is not the same length of scale as the referencing column DBU SSN so you see that you have to have the same order so even if I will go ahead and say okay now I'm gonna go ahead and cut this and use different order here now I'm using SSN here and SSN here first name and uh, they look like in the same order but if you will try to run it again it's not gonna work for you so you see that there are no primary or candidate key in the reference table DBO customer okay why because uh, you are breaking the order for the primary key so you have to have whatever you have in the primary key that's the order you need not just the order from here to like uh, from uh, SSN to SSN and the first name to a first name so you have to follow the same pattern or order for columns what you have your in your primary key and then adjust these ones accordingly so first name should be coming first and SSN 
so use the alter statement add constraint constraint name foreign key multiple columns and uh, references the primary key table and then provide the column list now if we run this uh, uh, query it will uh, just run fine and we can go to the tables again and uh, customer key okay fine cpk fk and that's created then we go to the orders and go to keys and you can see that the key is created and if you go to columns you will see the uh, first name and SSN has the foreign key constraint on them that's why we see them the grade key right here so thanks very much for watching this video and I hope you learn how to uh, add foreign key constraint on existing columns and uh, I will put the link in the description for the scripts and you can uh, just click there and it will take you to the page and you can copy and uh, test on your environments and learn from it. I hope uh, uh, this video will be helpful. Thanks.